All right, last time, water, books, dick. Uh, today, maybe a dragon. It's not it's gonna a say weird map. It's not gonna say that I remembered the name of this chapter. Uh huh. Oh shoot! Right, um, emblem day. That volume up to 16. There we go. Yeah, no, I have like multiple units that are sitting at level 20. Yep, that sounds about right. Very soon you'll be able to deal with a lot of that. Good. So all screen we learned that Faye is following us and we go to find Faye. Okay. That's his tradition. The prep. Um, so it wasn't too hard to find the, the team going forward because it was pretty much we took off everyone that is just in dire need of promotion items. Yeah. And that's really it. It's like Shauna, who at this point I don't think Shauna's going to be appearing again. Yeah, she's too far behind. Too far behind. She's not going to deal damage. Like, maybe if we have a map where we need to ferry, that's about it. That is true. Uh, Alan, Ray, Fear, and Saul are all 20 or 20 adjacent. I need promotions. And I think at the bottom, there's nobody. Okay. Whoever was at the bottom got moved up. Uh, the rest of the people are, of course, still some 20 adjacents, but less adjacent or have access promotion items. Geese will probably get in one or two fights and be on the back lines. Yes. Yeah. Most of our promoted units, the Dancer, because we need them to recruit somebody. And Astor with the silver card that you told me to put on, and I can't remember why. Uh, oh, silver card is... No, no, no. no. Uh, we threw Astor on to maybe get a little experience. Yeah, because, I mean, might as well. Hmm. That is a good call from the chat. A great, great thing to point out that we didn't point out when putting this together, but then again, we do these late at night sometimes. Um, get rid of that short bow. You haven't used that in forever and give you an iron sword. Yes. Can you check... Oh, that is actually a good point. Can I check shops on the map? Uh, sometimes I think you can. If you, like, mouse over it, you can look at it. Not in this one. Okay. Unless it's like... No. God, the select button. What does that button even do? Uh, usually it selects things. Weird. Is this a... left-hand-only capable game? Uh, as a left-handed person, I'm okay with this. No, no, no. I'm generally fine with it, too. I like, I like those games. Um, but anyway. More story. More plot. Child More right. intrigue. There was no Manic Heat in 7, right? In 7? Uh, well, there was a dragon. 
but not a fighting one. Per oh, se. right, because, the, uh, yes, the Maniki in 7 is... God, what? Fuck. They. Oh, yes. It was the brother and sister, who I cannot remember either of their names right now anymore. Nils and Ninian. Ninian, there we go. It's really close to Lillian, so I kept wanting to say that. That's fine. Large men. Lots of them? No, large men. Just, there's a general. Gotcha. Douglas. So if you recruit him before this map, you don't get this whole conversation. Correct. Which is another reason why you, you know, don't recruit him. I do like the guy on the left just because he's got a rocket beard. He's a really cool character. It's like the country will fall, but then I along with it. You, you must live. Hold on a second. There's a picture I need to get of him. If I can find it, where it's like, you know what? Whoever, whoever, uh, really put together this game and this art, they know what they're doing. picture that did not oh that does go to the picture oh, there we go yeah so in green is a fantastic sniper yes very strong very powerful um just a good replacement if you know dorothy doesn't turn out well and somehow or both pardon or walt or walt walt doesn't do this yeah i know thank you for the bitch jazz arms um, and both your mounted archers, of course, don't turn out, turn out well either. Um, uh, okay, so your first direction was move her as close as you can. Uh, wait. These Not as close as she can? As close as she can without her getting attacked. Which is actually as far as she can. Oh, wait, there it is. Javelin. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're good. Sorry, I forgot how good her little profile picture was. Yep, and the only thing you might need to worry about is that um, Wyvern Knight over there. To the right. Eh, I'll be fine. You could probably lure it or do whatever. Let's see if I can get Geese that, that little bit of experience he needs real early. You know, against mercenary seems haphazard, but he's also very strong. 
He'll take nine damage. That's fine. That's nothing. That's perfect. Play Dorothy right behind him. And what's your movement like anyway? Yeah, you're good. So it's uh, well, Jin can't quite get there. Melody can. And you said Lulina needs to get to the far right village. Yeah, she needs to book it over there. Oh, hello, Archer. Did not see you there. Luckily, nobody's in range. Very close, though. Almost a problem. Even if that archer could get to her, she'd be fine. Her defense is high enough that she could shrug it off. Alright. There, we're in, pre we're in position to intercept many men. So let's start moving everyone else forward. Ingrin, you can hang in the back. We don't want to give you... You can get some kills this map, but... I don't know if we'll be using you that much. I... If you're using... I would wait to see how Dorothy turns out first before you give a green any kills. Exactly. Yeah. Dorothy like, could you still... You need to see the promotion first so you can make a decision. Yeah. Dorothy, or Ingrid, could still end up being our archer, but... No. Investments have been... Do oh, that's a shitty formation that they move forward. Hmm. She can get there. An interesting move. Oh, going for the thief? In hindsight, I could have put a lance on Lance. But, uh. Oh, set up shin. Right, well, first move. Nice, perfect. It's outside the Wyvern Knight's range, too. Oh, really? Mm hmm. <laughs> so who do you think the highness is? The prince. Have we met them? Yes. By the way, that wyvern knight's going to wander over and attack one of your uh, yeah. uh, knights there. So you need to have someone on hand to kill that guy. Oh, Jesus. Possibly Percival. He's a silver lance too. All right, he won't double up, so they'll live. But yeah, they need to be taken out immediately afterwards. Yeah. I'm gonna move. Mm, they might double up. No, no, no. Speed of. That's a steel lance. Oof. Uh... That's what I was that... saying. Like maybe you want to lure that guy in. That's a double. If you have to redo it, you can redo it. I... Conversely, you could just rescue that guy. First of all, you take two hits, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Have Percival pick up that guy. Which square should I pick him up from? Uh, above. Mm -hmm. And then just stay there. Yeah, because he can drop and... Well, actually, he can pick up and then move out of range. That's true. And then you can just drop the guy off a little bit later. Yeah, and then we can dance him to have him move again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, this really begs me to remember the characters that we picked up. Is it the archer that I didn't use? Kane? Klein? 
Klein, or Klein, yes. Okay, he's the prince. No. Oh. <laughs> um, then I really have no clue. It's the bard. Oh. Elfin. Okay. Which, if you had him along, he'd pretty much say, yo, what's up, Percival? And Percival would be like, why are you alive? Oh, come on, just hit once. Good. with the 60%. Always expect failure. It's alright. I think we got the cleanup. That's okay. We got a cleanup crew here. Yeah. That's the closer. You know what? That's not too bad. He's actually very close to his bases that he has at level 20, so he's ahead of the game in most uh, sets. Well yeah, done. Let's, let's work on axes. People keep that idea about Geese being a prince for later in mind, guys. Uh, uh, until, like, much later in the game, and bring that up. There is a thing that's said. Prince Geese. Yep. Alright. Shit. You are... You, yeah, you can double this boy, so I just need to poke him with someone. Which is literally no one. Threw all the wrong characters down here. Well, Shin walks up and uses a killer bow, and hopefully crits to get the kill. Fair enough. Um, let's move him further. Nope, one HP. Alas. He's getting close to the promotion, though. Yeah. So I tried to get the kill, though. fast enough to get there, and I completely forgot we put boots on Roy. You gave Roy boots for this exact situation where he could be useful. Err. Oops. There was a, there was a heal there. 
I skipped over. Yep. Gotta do them heals. I'll send her south. gonna die. I can't. You can't? You got it. You have to. I know, but... Uh, the only thing I could think I could do is don't drop the guy. Wait, do all three of those guys have steel lances? Yes. Great. Yeah, that's why I was saying, draw in the stupid Pegasus or uh, Wyvern Rider. <laughs> didn't know they were gonna run south. The only thought is if I put Percival here uh, with a silver sword. Yeah, because he might go for weapon. They'll go for a kill over weapon. One we'll round see. KO. Can other people um, get there to pick those guys up? No. Everyone ran away. This might just be a restart, but then again, not a lot has happened. But let's see. I'm going to switch to a sword and keep the person on me. There's another risk you could take, and this uh, is a bit of a risk. Go ahead. Move Lalum on the mountain. Hell yeah. I believe. 30% invasion, let's go. Yeah, and get your flyer back there to help out. Yeah. Okay, let me just go through my menu. Ah, here's my axe. And my axe. There you Destroyed. go. Destroyed. Annihilated. A good start. And that's why we like the axe. Slide somebody down. Heal Shin. And let's see if we can just switch. Move Shin one step forward and switch him to a normal Iron Bow. See if we can't lure in a jab one throw or something. Maybe. He's got the HP for it. Oh, that's just my, my methodology. Methodology. Mythology. <laughs> yep, yep, got it in one. <laughs> Which Shin is like, I think take a hit. He's strong, he bounces. Alright, let's see how this goes down. Can you pick out the character you might need to have talk to someone? Maybe. Yeah. Also, you need to start really booking it. Yeah, holy shit. The move! Oh boy! Hello, horse slayer. You alright? Forgot about that one. 
Ooh, that was close. You're lucky at the axe out. I mean, lucky or smart? I did specifically plant him there with the axe. Oh, I know. He's gonna kill most of them. Jesus, yeah, uh, fuck. We have to book forward this turn. Yes. Um... Roy, please. Okay, let's deal with this northern front first. Okay, move you down here. Oh, he can't move on a mountain. That's okay. Oh, wait, yes he can. Okay, we're good. Move down here. Drop. You have to get right next to that mountain, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For... And then get danced. Oh. Not right next. Because that. Okay. Well, I put animations on, but we've seen a paladin attack. Oh yeah, and he took care of the uh, issue. Yes. That's Percival for you. Like, you checked out his stats when you got him, right? Oh, I did not, actually. Yeah, he alright. Remember, folks, in hard mode, he gets hard mode bonuses. He is really good. There's a very good chance, even as a pre-promote, that he will buy level 20 cap HP, strength, and speed on hard mode. Me trying to finagle my party around. Wait, right, Shin. The good boy. Nobody got hit, right? Oh, Lance took made minimal damage. Clarine, what the fuck? Is, is there a problem? Hold up, because, um... Fuck it, I'm just going to put her in melee range. Like, who cares? Okay, now we charge the, uh... The advancing force. Uh, anything special over here? Let's check real quick. Steel, long, killing edge. Uh-oh, armor slayer. Steel, um, silver. Okay. Well, we'll have Lance take out the the sniper. That's that's the important one. Mm, risky with a steel axe. Now, before you attack, can you do me a favor? Yeah. How far away are, are the bent brigands from getting to that city? You need to count this out. I have one turn. So they're going to get here the turn after this one? Yes. Alright. Can Lance, can you go down to that sniper area? I need to be able to count here. After he kills that sniper, can he make the eight steps to block them? Eight. Um. Stop moving, damn it. <laughs> yes. He can move in front of the base. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. Yeah. Then eight. he should totally take out that sniper. Yes. Alright. Oh, he has to go with the steel axe. It's the only thing that can kill that sniper. That's fine. I could go with a lance and have somebody else follow. Mm, nobody else. 
can follow up. The only person I can follow up is Geese throwing a hand axe. Which has an even less chance to hit. <sighs> Longbow, 15 damage. The bow gets multiplied, so that's 20 damage. I could have Melody run forward and kill the other archer just to keep that forward momentum going mm, what do you think well he's gonna get hit a whole bunch if you hand axe it I think it'd be better for him to actually take out that Valk and have Deep go forward with a sword. Okay. So Deep goes forward, stands there with uh, the steel blade. Conversely, after Lance finishes off that sniper, Deep goes forward with a sword, and your Wyvern Lord comes screaming in and kills one of those other archers. Yeah, that was my plan. Yeah. That, that's why I checked the other archer. Uh, with the double damage, or the triple damage on the longbow, uh, they'll have... Oh, yeah, she doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, she'll, it'll be 25, so she will take... Like, 8 damage. 9. Yep. And My point stands. She'll take 3 damage from any swordsman that goes for her, so she'll be fine. She'll take 2 damage because of the weapon advantage trial. Alright, so here's the big here's the big move here. Is... Steel Axe. Do we kill? Alright. First hit. Second hit. Good. Okay. There you go. Oh yeah, last week had the, the worst map. I think the map that we had the most deaths on easily. Yeah, we, we don't talk about that map. A majority of them being our dodge tank. Gonzalez forward with an Iron Axe. Sword Reaver. Fight me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll just have Geese take out the, the Valk. Geese can't double up the Valk. Wow. Wow, actually, she's, okay. she's strikingly fast. Welcome uh, to Valkyries. Yeah. Um, we'll just go to the far side. Uh... Also, thank you for the follow. Uh, we'll have him attack, and then we'll have Dorothy clean up. Sounds like a plan. Or he can just miss. That's good, too. Well, shoot. You have a lot of other people that can help. Like Roy. Mm -hmm. Like Astor. Also true. Alright, let me do math here. It's only 20. Alright, so it actually has to be Roy. Ooh, actually, Roy got... Punched last turn, if I remember right. Let's see how this goes now. The important thing is none of these people over here that are getting beat up by a mage are in range of any of the advancing units, so as long as I kill this mage. Oh, that's nice. A 14% crit chance. Yeah, we're good. It's all that crit chance. Crits on crits on crits. Wow, Valks just don't give experience, do they? No, they're considered to be healers. That's rude. Alright, let's just heal Geese to full with a heal staff. Ah, what a dumb, dumb unit you turned out, Lelina. Good. Excellent. We might have to have, uh... I missed it. What happened? Oh, she got, uh... Mag speed luck. 
That is a great level. It's a fantastic level. I forget, Astor. Did you take damage? No. Alright, Astor, you can step on this forest and see if fight me to one of these mercenaries. Now, will the Berserker try and fight Lance? Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's why Lance might have to take a hit. Yeah, so, uh, for reference, why I'm doing this move right here, which, God, Astor, you had two hits at 80%, come on. Um, why I'm doing this particular move is because I don't want all the enemy units to all stack up on top of each other. So, I'm pulling some of them over. Astor didn't get hit, so he kind of did his job. Oh, exactly. He's just there to pull attention. Oh. Lance. Okay, to be fair, you did not have a two hit at all. Yeah, that's sword versus axe. A steel axe. Okay. Other phase. Alright. Good, okay. I think she has a men's staff. Oh, I got... Uh, she does not. Clarine does not have a men's staff. I feel staff should be enough. Twenty. She's got magic for days. Eight. Yeah, okay, we're good. Oh god, I, it keeps autoing to heal when I get worried. Or er, attack. Okay, heal. Um, I should switch to a Lance on Lance to make sure he doesn't actually kill this guy. Well, okay. Now, Lance is going to get in the way of the Berserker, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, this is this is really sketchy. Like, you might actually have to have someone pick up... Uh, Lelina and drop her so that she can get to that Berserker on the next turn. Because she won't be able to do it otherwise. Yeah. In fact, I think you're going to have to do that. Alright, well for now I'm going to try it. Good, okay. That freed up the path for Lance. And Chin is one attack away. Alright, let's move Lance into position. And equip his Iron Lance. Why Lance over Sword? Because... Less... I guess Steel has a better dodge chance? Well, if... You don't want Lance getting hit. Because he, he might die. Okay. Right, crit chance. Okay. And have you actually placed him there yet? Yes. Cool. I was actually going to suggest you should place him two spaces to the left. But it's too late now. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's okay. So at this point, you need to place Lalina. I as know far exactly to the, the move. Okay. Cool. Perfect. It does. This does beg the question of where are certain people going to go? And we do need to see how a couple of things resolve. <sighs> the mercenary is a problem. Um, there is actually one way to deal with this. Uh, Dorothy is doing nothing this turn. Can she not shoot that mercenary right next to her? Uh, she can, but she will not double up. That's okay. That's what Astor is for. Oh, that one. Um, that one's easily dealt with. Okay. I'm more worried about the mercenary on the far side. Okay. So, who is going to be picking up and ferrying Lelina? Okay. Because so they're off the board. 
Lumina yes. moves forward as much as she can to this spot, two spots left of Melody. Okay. Deke takes a step up, picks up Lumina. Melody mm -hmm. takes Lumina. But you need to have Lolina down on the next turn. Right. At the start so of the Melody turn. moves over. And drops? And drops. Okay. Oh, but she... I... Yeah, she can pick up and drop on the same turn, right? I believe so. I don't know if she can pick up, move, and then drop, though, is the problem. Well, I saved. I'll, I'll okay. save on slot eight. You might just be able to have Deke pick up and give. Give to Melody. You can't pick up and give. There you go. Then that's a problem. We'll see. Let's rectify that first, and then we'll see how everything else is going to go. Actually, perfect! From where she is standing, she can throw a fireball at this mercenary to the left. There you go. Uh, let's just go with the fire and make sure we hit, because then anybody else can clean them up. Yep. Don't, don't get greedy and go for the kill. <sighs> okay. Rescue. Take. She cannot move and drop. Which is why One, you need to be able to... Two, three, four, five. She can move there. She can get there. Can uh, Gonzalez then walk over and take and drop? He could, but if the, the, um, the Berserker is getting to this spot right below the wall right here, mm -hmm. um, Lillian can move one, two, three, four, five, and get there. Okay. Okay. So now this leaves the problem of Mercenary on the left here. On the right, sorry. Oh, I'm just gonna have Astor kill this guy. Probably a good idea. That way, we don't have to worry about him. Okay. Nice, solid HP level. That's okay. You need him just to be durable, you don't need him to be amazing. Besides, his last level was actually really good. Hooray, you, you saw the pattern with Percival. Okay, so. Geese can't do shit. Geese was actually one of my answers to that mercenary, but he done. Okay, you didn't actually see it, because you're supposed to pick up the dancer with Percival. Oh, uh, well. Oh, well. Next turn, Geese will do something. Uh, yes. Uh, or we can get all the way over there. I think Gonzalez needs to kill this archer. The the one up north. Okay. Because the one thing is... Alright, you're going to do 19 damage with that armor slayer. And you can't... Oh, oh wow. Yep. Thank you for the bits, KP. Sorry, I had to lean in on that one. Yeah, um, actually not Dorothy and Roy, but <laughs> I green with the longbow passed to her from Dorothy. Okay. Because she'll double up. And she has a better two hit. So, first move, I'm just going to move Geese right here. I'm going to move Gonzalez up, kill this archer. Hopefully. I'm gonna go with the killer axe. Yeah, just make sure he murders. Oh god, he missed on the first one. And he did not kill on the second one. That's okay. We'll see how this goes. You, you can leave a swordsman around. He's not going to kill everybody. Um, it's just the fact that they are both in range of Belina. Okay. Kill one of them, then. I mean, I'm gonna try. Oh, I actually, she will take 14, 10, 
She'll live <laughs> with like two HP. Is that guy gonna walk over and just throw an axe at her? The Berserker? He might. Probably will. Well. We'll see how this goes. The best laid plans of mice and men, as they say. Yeah. I saved. Yes, you did. Oh, thank you for the follow. Alright, that move there is to be expected. Firing a shot at Melody. Oh, thank God for going for the triangle, right? Yep. Oh! Y'all right? Oh! <laughs> I was like, yay, she lived! And then I saw the damage coming back and I was like, fuck! <laughs> Oofa! Okay. Alright, it's talking time. Yo, this is a mess right here, isn't it? A smidge. Fucking hell. God, Lolina. She's she's really good at this. So, did you ever play the original game or any re uh, remakes of it? Original? Like the original Fire Emblem? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, I've heard that the one one is bad because it's the first one in the series, and the remake is awful. Uh, the remake is boring. But in the original game, there's a Pegasus Knight who's um, uh, Mart's buddy, so to speak. And she uh, recruits a lot of people, and Lelina takes that person's job. Ah, okay. Where it's just one of those, how are you able to recruit? You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, Shin, who can we have you mop up? Who can we have you actually just tag? You'll get a level that way. Did you check out the new guy, by the way? Yeah, let's take a look at Garrett and his half-missing health. Ugh. Oof. <laughs> yeah. He's not great. No, he's really not. <laughs> Garrett's really bad. Yeah. Like, let's look at him. So, 17, 13, 10. Just like even just that. Geese, who is 15, 14, 14, and has not yet promoted. Oofa. So, here's the thing Garrett sucks. Yeah, Garrett kind of sucks. Even with the hard mode bonuses, he's really bad. Because his speed growth is bad. So, with hard mode bonuses, he has a speed of 11, I think, and promotion. Action. We're just going to have you tag a bandit. Not even kill, just tag. Because that's all you need to level. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just go with the Iron Bow. Somebody else can mop him up. Oh, or he can just crit. He wanted that kill. That's mine. And that's how he hits 20? Hell yeah! Turn it around in those last few levels. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much, really, to get those guys going. <laughs> Lance takes a step forward. You threw an axe at me. And it was actually a really good level, too. Yeah, no. So, there was actually another reason why I wanted you to get to that village, besides stopping Garrett. Garrett's whatever, you're not going to use him. It's actually what's in the village that's useful. Oh, yeah, I, I'm sure. But, let's make sure we mop up the map first, now that we're not under any time constraints. Yep. That, the item in that village is actually the key to making Roy good. I, you have extremely piqued my interest. But, for now, I need to math out a couple of... Uh, Kills. Watch this move. Back up. Here, have your longbow back. Alright. Archer duel. She's on a forest. Or the enemy is on a forest. Yep. But I hit twice. That's true. Dorothy is a better archer. Dorothy, the superior archer. Um, last little thing to math out. Uh, let's see if we can give Geese this mercenary kill. It's unlikely, but... Do you have an, uh, Sword Reaver around? Oh, I do. I can slap him the one that's on Gonzales. Whoop, wrong person. The Sword Reaver that's just kind of been getting traded back and forth between them. It's getting work. It is. Oh, God. <laughs> Guy's on a force, too. I know, but fuck it. He's good. He's as good. He does uh, his job, man. That's all you need. I kind of. Let me look at my health all around. Um, Geese is not Gonzalez, and that's really his biggest downside. Otherwise, he's a good unit. Yeah. Like, if <sighs> I had just geese in this game, I'd be totally down for it. Roy, Garrett, they're pretty much the only two that super need to be healed. That's what Lolina's for. Yeah, I'm trying to figure if I should just do a heal with Clarine, but... Are they in danger of dying from anything around them? No. Actually, then Mel I would... Melody needs to be healed, too. Uh, we'll just move D forward, then. Melody's still pretty fine. I'm sure I'm not going to pull it. No, I'm not going to pull anything in for a while. We can send Roy, though, towards that village. And Garrett can go shopping for us. Welcome to the team, Garrett. Time to go shopping. Did you bring along the silver... I did. And honestly, I don't know if Part. I really even need to buy anything here. Maybe a men's staff. That's about it. Yeah, if it's just one item, I wouldn't worry about it. But if you're going to buy a bunch of things, then use that silver card. I don't even know if I'm going to buy one thing. Then don't. Garrett can just stay there. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay, now their horsemen are moving forward.
There's the staff. So it's not really something for him. It's something that makes him good. And I guess that is because you can S rank his weapon and then let him use one of the legendary weapons. Well, you can let him use his special weapon. Oh. He's the main character. He's going to get a special weapon. Right, yes. That. That's right, baby. Time for shenanigans. Wait, what? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll figure this out. I forgot, and we did last week show off the boss's stats. Have you done that yet this uh, week? Oh, right! The most important fact. Um, so there's a reason that I didn't do it my normal, like, looking at everything. Which I should have done, because that would remind me of stuff like the Horse Slayer and the Killing Edge. Yep. And all that. Uh, which, oh, there's another Horse Slayer up there. Good to know. Yep. Two Flyboys. Uh, but, uh, so bosses have usually been a problem. Uh, usually. And, you know, here's, you know, here's a boss with a spear. Generally pretty threatening. Uh, he sucks. He really does. Why is that a paladin with a speed bait? I don't know. And skill of eight, he's just... He's really bad. He's just durable enough that you can't just, like, rush him and take him out in one turn and then finish. He is, like, outrageously bad. Also, it's time for the move. Time. Get equipped with feather. And a snazzy horse. Ah, two's across the board. Which is really all he needed. Yeah, he's gonna double up most units now. Notice he got plus five HP. Yeah. <laughs> he's huge. He's He's actually really tanky. Yeah. That strength. Hoofa. Uh, finally. Could be a little higher. We, we did get a little screwed on him, but that's me. Actually, is... he made up most of the difference. He's only a point or two behind. Oh, so really? it's not bad. Nice. Okay. I think he's supposed to have 13 uh, ish strength when he's uh, at level 20 unpromoted, so I think he's two behind. Mm -hmm. And that's. He can make that up. And now he can use swords, so he can sit on the front lines and be more useful. Also, and this is something very important, you do have to eventually get him a crit with a sword, just for the animation. Oh, it is yeah. awesome. That's, that's just one of the few things that I will put my foot down on this uh, game. I mean, do this. you're not wrong. Also, hello, 18 damage out of nowhere. I mean, they're strong. <laughs> Yet another reason why you really, really don't want to mess with the Valkyries. Valkyries are scary. They are one of the more dangerous units in this game. They won't... Also, look at that gold horse. The horse is gold now. Mm-hmm. Oh, his partner isn't here. That's okay. You're actually going to run into someone on the next map that he can support with. Um, good. Partner 
in here either. Well, he's tanky. Valkyries are like threatening, but they give no experience. That's really the problem about them is that they're not worth it to kill because they're still considered to be healers, but they're not healers. I mean, the fucked up thing is that they're still worth to kill because they're threatening as all shit. They're gonna wreck you if you don't, you know, take care of things. So just so you know, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, there are reinforcements on this map. I figured. I'm but they don't start, start showing up for a little bit. I'm gonna start healing with chlorine, just because we are getting a number of units that are. What turn is it? Uh, eleventeen. Eleventeen? Yeah. Uh, eight. Oh, pff, you're fine. That never mind. Reinforcements yeah. don't start showing up for a handful of turns. I hate that I have two berserkers on the map now, and one of them is bad. Because now I'm like, eh, which one of you is the good one, and which one of you do I leave in the back? I am desperately trying to get Dorothy at that level. What level is she in again? She's like almost 19. Okay, so she's, she's a level and a quarter away? Level and like 10. Yeah, so she's she could do it on this map. She could. It's just hard. I hope she does. Oh, yeah, level in the quarter. Yeah. Alright. That's a great question, chat. Who does Garrett support with? I'm fairly certain he supports with Gonzalez. Which is weird. Yeah, so Garrett there actually supports with both Gonzalez and Geese. So you can have the three Berserkers supporting each other, kind of. Yeah, it's gross. Which is Oh, a thing. He also supports with Kath, the thief. Which is weird because she, I believe, also supports with Geese. So you could actually have some sort of weird support triangle. Um, but that's a terrible idea. He also supports with Lalina because she recruited him. And the dancer. So he actually has support partners. But he's not worth it. form of wall. Hmm. 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 Ah, no, they'll go in the melee range. That's not good. Yeah, never mind. I could have slapped Dorothy on the fort, but they'll just go in melee range with her. However, she Shin! Next turn. <laughs> yes, you, you picked it up. Shin, front line, swords. Melody's the only one on the front line that is missing any HP, and she has the most defense. It's almost like she's really good. Okay, to be fair, she has as much defense as Gonzalez because Gonzalez is gross! Your Gonzalez is way ahead on his defense. Uh, one mean, one, one of ahead. these horsemen is... Or, not the horsemen. Ah, right. I actually playing this properly. The Wyvern Rider is going to throw a jab one, but I also specifically... The only person in range is Melody, and I put a jab one on her, so she will counter. And should not kill because she's using a jab one. Yes. Okay. Move everybody up. We want to move forward. Next turn. Levels. Roy. 18. He's getting there. Oh. God. I'm getting screwed over on the Lena heels because of HP levels. And I forget that people had leveled. Oh! Fuck. Wow, okay. Is he dead? Nope, and... 
the only person that could hit him is not he is not in range of. Ooh, no javelins. No javelins. The only javelin person, the only person in range of a javelin, is Melody. That okay. was real close. <laughs> Now, you checked that that guy had a horse slayer earlier, right? Yep, that's entirely on me. Okay, just checking. Yeah, right. good thing that uh, he wasn't in range, because that 36% hit javelin would have hit him right in the face. <sighs> and all of your buddies are gone now. Good job. You have gotten uh, I, I the promotion went, item. I'm going to do some math real quick. Uh, 44... Minus eleven. Okay, so I only did thirty-three damage. I wanted to know if I like exact seeds no, no. not dying. <laughs> thirty-three plus two. It did thirty-five points damage. I think he had thirty-six health. Oh Jesus Christ! Like, I need to fucking that was, pay. That attention. was fun. Hey, think of it this way: he just set up Dorothy really well for you. What would be better, him or the Wyvern Rider? Who can she kill? Both. Go for the Wyvern Rider. Wyvern Rider can counter them. That's okay. She can take a hit. And okay. then Geese can walk over and finish off the Horse Slayer guy. Yeah. Hoofa. Uh... Had to have one of those each map, right? At least one. Oh. And now, the magical Lena makes all of that damage disappear. With one swing of her magic staff. Full health. Almost. <laughs> you could take another hit. <laughs> no, actually, you would, you would die exactly. He would die. Um, you could have a dance for her and let her heal again. I could. Also, actually, I can't. Oh, where is your dancer? She's on uh, Percival's. Percival's. Meanwhile, though. Shin does Shin things. Chin with 4% chance to crit. Come on, Chin. Damn. 97% chance to hit with a penalty. Notice when he kills, he slides under the horse. Huh. Mm-hmm. Man, these are all... Almost promoted units. Wow, okay. Yeah, you're not that far away. I mean, Geese is going to be at 20 by the end of this map, probably, and Dorothy hopefully hits it. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I can plant Roy somewhere. Oh, to get a kill? Yeah. Or at least to take some damage. Not to take damage, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Hey... Okay, so over the course of his levels, he gained five points in all of his main stats. <laughs> no, I think he was 10 9, 9 so he went 5 6, six. Yeah, fucking god. That's totally fine. Geese, why are you speed. the most average pirate? That's, that's a good stat line. It is! It's just so fucking weird! It is. Okay, this boy has a javelin. Um, Alright, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to slap Roy right here. With a weapon disadvantage. So that's all good. Do you have an extra? No, you don't have any extra horse, or not horse, uh, hero uh, things. That's right. No, I don't. That's okay. You'll, uh, you will have an opportunity to pick those up in the next chapter. Perfect. You'll double. Alright, so we'll plant Roy right there. He should go for weapon advantage over Gonzales, who is just going to kill this man. Just lumbers up and says, Hello! Hello, I have a 33% chance to crit, though I won't. There it is. Heard me talking shit. Roy, my understanding... Does he, does he need to crit? I mean... He doesn't, that's the best part. Uh, Roy, my understanding, is a story promote. Like most Emblem main characters. Indeed. In fact, so we'll, uh, when we get there, we get there. Funny funny thing, 
Um, mm -hmm. He's technically the main character. Alm is not a story promote. You can't promote really? him until a certain point in the story. Uh huh. But it isn't a forced promote. You actually have to go to the the promotion place and promote him. Gotcha. That's kind of like the uh, main character. Celica is oh, a forced promote. <laughs> well, that's Celica. <laughs> Which is the funny thing is like, all right, your main character is in the story promo for, for for this one time. Your other main character is. God damn it. <laughs> eh. Selka's fantastic though. Selka is such a good fucking unit. Alm is like um, the twins in eight. You don't have to promote them as soon as you get their promotion item. Which hmm. is nice. That's true. I frequently forget that. Usually when I get to their point where they can promote, they are ready to promote, but you don't have to promote them right then. Ah, okay, reinforcements are coming. Yes. Oh, where did they come from? Because that could be a problem. Do you want to know? <laughs> I, I kind of do at this point. Okay. Uh, let's see here. They come from the forts north of the castle and from the castle itself, and it's a bunch of cavaliers. Hmm. And they will come for four turns. Okay. And that means they are coming on the next turn. Can I just get you with a steel bow? Yeah. Yeah. Two shots with a steel bow. I like that, that chance better. Instead of having to hit both of my iron bow hits. Okay. One more level. Percy's fantastic. God... She's just like, she is kind of archer uh, geese in that she doesn't gain her offensive stats every level, but staying she, relevant. She yeah, she stays relevant, much like Rebecca. Yep. Uh, yes, I could heal. I could heal my other uh, berserker. Keep healing, just keep healing people. Yeah, I could heal my berserker, but instead, let me uh. Well, you can have uh, the dancer dance, and she can heal again. Wow, dancers! Dancers are healers' best friends. Hey, dancer level. Oh boy. Speed. If it had HP in it, I would have said that's a great level. It did have HP. Hooray! Hey, that's how we test the, <laughs> the video delay. <laughs> you just said speed, you liar. You would think after like two and like a game and a half, you know that I never fucking mention HP. You just mentioned HP earlier in the video when it was an only HP level. Yeah, because it was an only HP level. Fair. <laughs> Instead, it would have been like, hmm, yeah, wow, they didn't get any stats. Uh, yes, uh, technically, I think, like, by loosest sense of the word, technical, uh, Rebecca is Walt's mother. Yes, she's his, uh, it's canonical at this point. Yes. I'm sorry, I had to fucking, like, think about that sentence, like, two times over. Yeah, but Rebecca's one of the few characters that's from Seven, and by few, I mean one of the definite characters from Seven who's alive at this point. A lot of the other ones are probably dead. A lot of or them were, in hiding. Yeah, a lot of them were like with uh, Hector, Hector or with yeah, which X. Means they're, yeah, which means they're dead. So people Oswin, like fucking dead. Oswin is canonically dead. He's one of the few that it's very much he's dead. Um, Sane and Lowen also are probably dead. Kent might be alive because he's a steward and he might be a Kalen. But a bunch of other people have probably bought it by Can't this point. Can't the brothers are dead. Well, one of them. One might be still alive. Look at all these one HPs. Nah. Perfect, actually. That's really good. 
I think, oh no, it was an armor slayer. I was going to say, I think one of these boys had a killer sword. Maybe a killer bow on that sniper? No, iron, or silver, which mm, that's uh... Might want to take the sucker out with somebody. Yeah, hello Lance. Weird. Oh, weird, steel axe. Actually, let's see, see that steel sword. I could steel sword and set up uh, Shin. Okay, remember reinforcements are coming and they'll pop out of those forts right there. Can um, Mel Melody just murder that guy, that sniper? Well, I'm going to move some people forward. There. And see where we are at that point. Uh, she could. Form, form wall. Yeah, well, I'm just going to put a box around it, around the forts. You can just put a wall of four people going right up the side, and you'll be fine. You don't need to box them out. Might be good to use you to do something else. Because Roy can move in and be part of that wall. I just question Roy's durability. He could be at the top of the wall. I wouldn't put he him at the bottom. He can't hit the top of the wall. He could be he... bottom from the top. Or second, well, second from the top. Put him to the left of that forest and put one person next oh, to the fort. There we go. And that'll form the wall. I can put him on the forest. On the forest, you can put the person uh, diagonally left of him, and that would form a wall. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because that way, I can use Melody and uh, Lance and Shin to do some damage. Instead of using them to form a wall. Yeah. Next turn, you want to kill off that sniper, and that's really pretty much it. Uh, Melody, Melody, should it. Melody should kill off the sniper. The others should just stay back and wait. You don't know what's popping out and what they got. All right. Hey, God. just speed level. Good. Yeah, I'll take it. That's good for her. She really just at this point needs a couple more points of speed, strength, and defense by the end of the game, and she's fine. She's a more useful Pegasus Knight. She's a better Heath. Pretty much. Like, do you have any complaints with her? No. It, it starting off when all she was getting was strength it was a little like oh no it's happening in, in fact literally on that video when i mm -hmm. posted it uh the the uh the video text for that video was me and then heath backwards <laughs> wait okay i already moved melina forward that was that turn that that was that move could he hold somebody oh well it's okay I, I kind of, for a couple of maps, got out of the mentality of making sure I always healed because the healers were done. The healers no, were that's totally fair. And the only reason I'm telling you for uh, Lelina to do it is you need to get her staff up to C so she can use a restore staff. So she can use... Physic, Hammerlin. eventually, will be useful. Don't get me wrong, but that's B rank. I don't know if we're going to... I'm going to try... But man, oh, it, you don't have to have it, like, next chapter. I'm just saying it's something to aim for. Yeah. Okay. I love that he has a bow, and since he promoted, he's just been using a sword. Yeah, welcome to Nomad Troopers. Ah. He should be using a sword most of the time. Barfed. Barfed from the castle. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, Deke. You're strong. But do you not have defense? He's got some, it's just that he's fighting against people with steel lances. Yeah. Meanwhile, Melody, very powerful. Oh, it feels weird to finally have a good flying unit. Because we did not have a solid flying unit in, uh, in 7. Well, no, you had Florina. She was okay, she really fell off at the end. That's it, true. If you remember right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, But it's nice to have one who's just competent at everything. She's not overpowered as all heck. Pretty much, she's Lance on a horse. Deke. Or, Deke. uh, dang it, I did it again. Lance on a dragon. Deke. My boy. Uh-huh. You haven't had to use him for a while. It's nice no, to it's have him. No, it's not even that. The fact that he missed on the first hit. 
setting people up. Oh, that's right, you did have Fiora. Because I think you used both Florina, Fiora, and also Heath as well. Yeah, I used a lot of flyers. That's because flyers are good. Flyers are great. I love flying units. Like, my favorites are pretty much like the flying units and uh, armament. Yeah, I, I it's Wyvern Knights all the way for me. Okay. Excuse let's... me, Wyvern Riders. Wyvern Knights are a totally different thing. Mm. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? <laughs> she could just take care of all those guys on the left by herself. I don't hate that. <laughs> just yeah. pick off that archer and she's fine. Oh, you might want to switch Deke over to using an axe. Hmm, good point. He'll have less chance to hit, but he does need to work on his axe. Yeah. Just so he can move up the steel. Because, of course, I mean, uh, it doesn't have the two hit, but... Welcome to Deke, the steel boy. <laughs> he can just use steel and not give a crap. He can use a steel axe with no penalty. It's like him and Lance, and the only reason Lance can do it is because Lance has 21 speed and doesn't fucking care. Yeah. But Deke might not have the speed, but he's got the con. God, yeah, just look at that. Lance has a penalty of 4 for using a steel axe, and he would still have 17 speed. Yeah. Lance, what the fuck are you? He's a pretty darn good unit. Um, that, oh, let me just swap these two out. Like, your Lance is above average in a lot of his categories. In reality, at level 1 promoted, he should be a little bit weaker than Percival. Percival is still pretty much even with him in most categories. He is... Percival is this game's pent. Yeah. <laughs> Except he doesn't kill an entire map. Well, both of them could. <laughs> they could, but what I mean, like... He doesn't steal an entire map's worth of experience from you. Fair. Uh, also, welcome to uh, welcome to Emblem Six, in which uh, reinforcements. We're gonna be sitting here for a while. Yep. Well, remember, use your healer with Alina whenever you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the the cluster fuck happening right here. I'm trying to actually just find units. Let's just move a couple of these units that we're not going to use back. Back a bit, yeah. Just get out of the way. Shin, you can go sit on this forest. And and if we're can sit back there, because he's level 20. Yeah, I'm going to heal him first, though. Fair point. Um, and, like, if worst comes to worst, with the Melody situation right now, we can always just physic her. Yeah. Or just have her fly to the left. She can just get out of the way. Yeah. Though, um, some of these riders mm -hmm. who have javelins and steel... Oh, they have javelins. Whatever. Uh, Your front two. line is pretty durable. The only that's... person who might be a problem is uh, Dorothy. Yes, that's what exactly what I was checking. Uh, she can eat both lances, their javelins. Yeah, she's not going to kill either, so she'll be fine. Good, so then she can set herself up. Mm-hmm. More! More riders! Rider meet horse. Horse meet rider. Besides, they're probably not going to go for her anyway, because she fights back. Ah, good point. Yeah, they're just going to go for her. I hope you're prepared for Deke to get a whole bunch of experience here. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of hoping that they go for... Uh, Roy? Not... Well, Roy, yeah. I might have to move Roy and the rest of the team forward so that they... He's a better target. Mm hmm Oh, jeez. Well, welcome to, like, the same as Desert Map, except instead of Fear, it's Melody. I'm okay with that. Just oh, no, an Armor Slayer! Yeah, give her a Javelin, and they will leave her alone. That's a good point. But at the same time, do we want them to go to the other people that have way less armor? You can move her a little bit more over to the right, so you lure them over in that direction. But eventually, they're just going to slam into Deke and other people, and that's okay. If 
I put her right in front of Deke. I'd actually put her in front of Roy. Because that'll pull them all over. And then Roy can move up to help uh, finish up afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Just leave everybody where they are and just put her in front of Roy. Yeah. And heal, heal up and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. uh... I would actually move Dorothy down one space onto that forest just to be on the safe side. Yeah, and also that's going to let me do a move. This move right here. Uh, Melina, move forward. Heal. Deke. Dancer, take a step up. Not rescue. Oh, that's not a dancer. That's Astor. Dance for Lena. And then Lena can take a step back. And deal. Ball him. Alright. Good formation. I like this. Garrett, you can move the fuck back as well. And then we have pretty much the important people up front. Alright. There are a lot of horsemen on the left. Currently, the left side of the screen is... Oh, boy! Oh, boy. God. Oh, yeah. What, what a level, Deke. You done it. Hey, he got five strength level ups in a row. Yeah, he's extremely solid. Back to HP only. Yep, that's Deke. Yep. And they're shooting at Lance. And they're probably going to shoot at Deke. But eventually they're going to run out of people they can throw things at, and they're going to move up. They're going to shoot at Roy. Perfect. Lance. Wow, the speed on these boys. Yeah, because they're wielding javelins, that's why. Yeah. Also, their speed just kind of sucks. They have nine speed. Yeah, it's not great. But you should be able to get a kill on Dorothy this, or two kills on Dorothy this turn if you do some setup. Yeah, it's gonna be a little rough. Eh. Maybe Roy can help out with that. Easily. Yeah, you can't use L Lelina to soften up, guys, because she's fast enough to double now. Gross. Promotions, man. They're great. Um... And Roy gets a little bit better. I think if you get him one more level this map, that'd be great as well. Like, he doesn't have to get to 20, but get him close. Just enough damage. Also, wow, she's almost done with her Iron Lance. It's okay. Man, if there was just a boy with 33 HP. Well, take a swing at that guy uh, on the um, fortress anyway. Maybe she misses once. Yep. And plus we need to clear that boy out anyway. Exactly. So more reinforcements can show up. Mm -hmm. And then you can continue to murder them. Damn. Oh, she hit twice? Yeah. How dare she be good at her job. I know, right? She broke her lance, though. That's okay. Uh... I'm just such a big fan of how the uh, Wyvern Lords land with just that huge thud and then turn around. It's really showing that, yes, these creatures are big.
So I thought a little bit more about this game, and I appreciate all the changes they tried to make from like 4 and 5 to try to make you know, a little bit of balance changes and such. The problem was that they went a little bit too far in some characters and made certain classes not super good, like Pegasus Knights and Knights, knights in general, just because the maps are just too big. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but they definitely fixed those problems in 7 and 8. Oh, easily. It's really the, the whole thing, and I've said this a thousand times, is it's just like this weird middle point in the series is. Right, yeah, might... can, Shin so- uh, shop- can Shin soften someone up for her? I actually have a better idea. Okay. Percentage chance, but let's go for it. Sure. Again, she's pretty close anyway. Damn. Dorothy, by the way, can support with Percival if you are ever thinking about using him. Hmm. Dorothy actually supports with a lot of really good units. So oh, does sh- Percival, for that matter. Let's actually just not give Deke a kill, and we'll see who they choose. Fair enough. Yeah, so Percival supports with Cecilia, which isn't a shocker. Uh, Dorothy and Klein, uh, either the Bard or the Dancer, and Douglas. Dougie! So, uh, you haven't seen Douglas in action yet, so I'm not going to talk about him just yet. But the others are somewhat useful. I mean, Douglas is a general, so I'm going to assume nope. his stats suck. You're not wrong. You will get well acquainted with that next level. Or one after, I forget. Hey, Gant Lance. Yeah, again, she's out of her iron. So she's gonna murder some people now. I mean, you say this like she wasn't before. Really murder some people. Oh, you hit Lance. We're slowly moving into like a different formation on these forts. Yeah, your slow and steady advance. That's a real shitty two hit chance, but yeah, fuck it, he won't counter. I hit once. That's what matters. Get never closer. I'm I think if she gets that kill she'll hit twenty. Yeah, the problem is getting to that kill. Uh have Clarine move and dance for her, uh with the dancer. No, you don't understand, but I'll show oh, you okay. in the kill move took a step back. Oh, that kill. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was thinking of a different kill. Speaking of which. Yeah. Because, you know, Chlorine doesn't take damage. And she can also support with uh, Deke, so her sitting right there is great. For people who weren't here last um, week, Clarine capped her speed, so she has 25 speed. Yeah, no, Clarine will double up any unit. And I think her luck is like 26 or something ridiculous like that, so she's not getting tagged. So, the reason I did this particular move right here Mm -hmm. is it lets me move Dorothy down. Oh, and take care of that guy who moved back? Yes. That means that... Better. Roy can take care of the guy in front of him. Exactly, with a much better two hit on that boy. And there's the level. Yeah, and I think if um, 
Lolina moves Again. up. Again. Just doing her thing. Just staying relevant. Hey, next uh, turn you get to see how relevant. Uh, yeah, and if Lolina moves up, Roy can one-shot that guy. Ah, oh, yes, there, there's the move. The supports. Figure, yeah, I was trying to figure out how to pull that off, and I frequently forget supports exist. And actually, here's 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 a move. Put her on that forest, and he'll land. There you go. Oh, and you need to. Has uh, Gonzalez and Lolina hit B rank yet? Uh, no. There you go. That's all cool. I'm gonna work on. And much better to hit on that point now. Oh yeah. Ah, much better two hit, Roy. much better damage. Ah, a very standard Roy level. What HP, skill, speed? It, no, it's a, it's a, it was a great level, but you know, no strength. He needs, oh, he needs HP, strength. skill, speed, defense. That's fine. Yeah, he needs strength. That's the big thing right now. Everything Again, else is he's he's uh, right around where his strength level is supposed to be at twenty. So he's great. I know it seems a little bit low, but that's just Roy. Okay. Yep, that's it for that. Astor back a bit. Really could use his reinforcements to stop. Oh, hey! I summoned it. I willed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you done it. Oh, when you can next turn, don't have Geese and Garrett sitting next to each other because they support and they're going to eat away at uh, support points you can be giving to other people. Oh, okay. Yeah, because again, this game's weird. It has a certain amount of points that you can give out per chapter. God. Sorry, every now and then I forget what the no damage noise is like in this one. Yep. Clang. Yeah, let's make sure we didn't actually... Okay, no. We didn't actually get a support up. Between those two? No. No, no, no. It takes a while to build up. That is one thing they also fixed in the next game, uh, which is supports happen much faster. In this game, a lot of supports are one support point per turn, which takes forever. Man. Go, Roy, go. Stop. 35, if he gets 35 HP, that'd be pretty darn good. It's time. Oh, is it her time? Ascended Dorothy. You ready for this? I'm gonna move my coffee down, switch the water. Christ! Yeah, welcome to Archer Promotions. Pretty much plus threes across the board. Yeah, and now compare her to Igreen. A little bit better. They're pretty... Yeah, it's, they're roughly the same. She's a bit more durable, but that higher speed on Dorothy is a little clutch. Yes. That's going to let her double up a lot more units. Alright, since we now know that we are... Uh... done. We're done with reinforcements. We can just blitz forward. I'm going to have Melina heal two people and then move. So I take it you're pretty happy with Dorothy now? Oh yeah, no, she's fine. Yep. We so need... at this point, Igreen is a good character if you don't feel like leveling up the other two. She is going to be roughly equal to them or a little bit better at promotion, but by the end she tails off a little bit and the, other, the others pass her. So, if you put the effort into Dorothy, she will be better, but it's if you want to put the effort in or not. Because there are some maps where you're bringing her along, and you're like, oh man, I gotta bring Dorothy, she's not doing so hot. Yeah, you asked me and if I want to put effort into issue. an archer, and my answer is extremely yes. Yeah. And hey, it works out. This game, it isn't bad to have a lot of archers. It's just there are other characters that can totally do what archers do as well, like yeah. mages with air caliber. So, yeah, that's the thing. People always... And this is all across emblems. And the problem is they can't change it without fundamentally 
changing how archers work and or taking away the main weakness archers have, and that's that archers mm -hmm. can't attack on enemy phase. They generally well, uh, unless can't. they're Takumi, but he can shove it. Yeah, they generally can't, or they're from Echoes. Fair. Um, or they're in games that have bows with range one uh, ability, which that's are a couple games that have that. Yeah. Well, uh, there's also I think a bow in one of the Game Boy, uh, not Game Boy, uh, GameCube or um, Wii games that has a range one on it. But, so um, there's options. Because of that, it it's super hard to level archers. Yeah. And like we kind of saw that with Dorothy, like we really had to go out of our way to get Dorothy levels. Nice. Oh, thank you for the host, Loon. We're just approaching the end of our first map for the night. Yeah. And then we move on to the fun one. Oh boy, I don't like it when you call a map fun. Fun the, for me, not for you. Look at the people just coming in. The good eyeful of Gonzales. It's hard not to. Ah, uh, yes, Bruce. I uh, I have briefly... In, so, uh, Loon's been playing Chrono Cross. Yes. And I saw the, uh, the mention of Bruce in various other things. And uh, so I hopped into his thing and be like, Alright, what's his... Why, why, why Bruce? Like I know Loon does naming schemes, so that's gotta be something. He is naming every character Bruce. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> Which is great. Uh, Chrono Cross remains uh, one of those games that I know it's flawed, but I still love it. And about ninety percent of that is because the music in that game is incredible. Uh, I think it has the best music on the PS One by far. Yeah, and yeah. there are some really good soundtracks on the PS One. I strongly agree. He's not naming them Bruce. They are Bruce. Accurate. Well, that that boss is not long for the world. Oh, I understand that best music on the PS1 is a big statement, but that's my stance. And I'm perfectly fine with people disagreeing with me, but that mu that game has amazing music top to bottom. Shin, you had one job. I really like Shin's color scheme. That green really stands out. It's good. I almost switched off of a uh, an axe for this boy, just thinking that. Oh, I should probably run out of uses on that steel axe. Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. He just needs level axes. Yep. Hmm. Who should kill the boss? I have a wealth of options. somebody with an axe. You should probably show off Dorothy just once and practice, though. Oh, wait, no, she'll show up next chapter. What am I doing? Just yeah. kill him. We gotta get going. Next chapter might take a little bit of time, so we need to get to it. Well, I have just the option. <laughs> Is it Gonzalez? <laughs> a heaving helping of Gonzalez. What's your purpose here? Death. Gonzalez, come on. Oh. Wow, Gonzalez. Luckily, he doesn't use up that uh, that axe. It's all right. You got turns for this. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, you still have to wait for Roy to get there anyway. Yep, I'm working on that. Remember, Roy has boots. Oh, Roy's gonna get shot by that spear. Whoops. It's all right. He can take a hit. Yeah, but it would've been nice. You could also him. just have um your writer pick him up. Already Wyvern ahead of you. Yeah, what is the purpose of Gonzalez? To end people. Yes, end people, and specifically people who dare threaten Lolina, because yeah. that does not happen. Destroyed! <laughs> I'd like to remind people, he just one-shot a boss. 
who's standing on what is essentially a throne. That should not happen. That's both a testament to his strength and how weak that boss was. <laughs> that boss was exceptionally weak. Also, I'm going to switch him back to an Iron Axe so I don't forget. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. That's strength. Thing. I'll take it. Yeah. One, one thing I need to do is to trade Dorothy back that low-use steel bow. Mm -hmm. Which she can probably just wield with no problem now. The steel bow? I don't know about steel, but I think she can do killer. Let's killer? See killer? Uh, she takes a one speed minus. That's nothing. On steel, yeah. That is nothing now. The long bow, she takes a two. Which is maybe a bit substantial, but... Only because she does not have, like, sky-high speed. She has pretty 15 high. 15 speed with a longbow is pretty good. Yeah. Let's just get some... Oh, wait. No, actually, this is fine, yeah. Let's get some extra heals. We'll drop down Roy. Hey, we'll Lelina's do... gonna gain a level here. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. And very typical Lilina level. <laughs> she got a good one last one, right? You said she it was did, and also luck. a typical Lilina level is extremely good. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Cannot wait for her to cap magic. <laughs> she's gonna do it with her. I think her cap is thirty-five, and she's gonna no, no, 30. hit it. It's thirty. It's thirty. Oh, okay. Wow, that she part... can have thirty. No, no, no. She can't because the um. Uh, magic Tome, the S Magic Tome is plus 5 luck. All the uh, S rank weapons have different things that they boost. Okay, here's the funny thing you say, Masterful Mimic. You say, we only need speed, my god, and yet she can just one shot units. Like, she, she needs a little bit more speed, that's true, but she, she can hold her own, and yeah, that's she, all that really matters. She needs defensive speed, and that's about it. She needs enough speed so that she herself does not get doubled. Mm -hmm. Because uh, she has enough overall defense that she's okay. By the way, her support with Roy is adding 3 to her uh, strength, so she could have 33 strength. 34 if she what? gets to be ranked with Gonzalez. We actually have everybody healed. Uh, we'll just have Clarine heal Melina and then be on our way. Yeah, there you go. If you have not already entered the castle, um, just wait around five turns, see if you can get that B rank with Gonzalez. That's a good call. Uh, is there and also else? sit Clarine next to Deke. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Uh, Dorothy's partner's not here. Mel Melody's uh, partner shows up very soon. Okay, uh, Shins is not here. Lance is actually Melody good. and Shins, uh, secondary oh, partner. Who can are... Lance partner with? We have a spare on him. Clarine. Well, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you're not using Rutger, so he's a good support partner for Clarine. Yep, so we're just going to do the, uh, the the support shuffle real quick, which is just, I can count to ten, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, just check the unit. Oh, God, going to menus I don't mean to go into. Ah, Clarine and Deke. Perfect. Yeah, they, they had to be close. Because you've been trying to push that along for a while. Mm -hmm. What's a kid like you doing on the battlefield? She could end you. It'd be a pretty close fight. Well, except for the fact that she can hit him from a space away. That's well, He can hit her. He's got a hand axe. Mm. No, she'd kill him. Yeah, well, she's also a dodge tag. Yeah, she she would kill him. Ah, so she is Pence's daughter. Perfect. She she lives up to the name. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's just look at that real quick. Yeah, her base of Void is 82. Now that's getting boosted because she's next to Deke. Okay. 
But I think her base of void is 70. Yeah, it's 77. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she gets a full evade bonus from uh, Deke. So when they get to A rank, she'll have 92 avoid. Plus another three luck by that point, 95 avoid. Alright, well, anyway. Switch up Plus map. another 10 from Lance, 105 avoid. Dodge tank, baby. I know. Yes! Good! Give me the small child. So, we've been talking a while about who the Est in this game is. The Est shows up in the next map. I'll leave it to you to decide who it is. I'm pretty sure it's her, though. Dragon baby. Now, guess what level she is? One. Yes. But that's okay. Well, she's because a dragon, she has so she gets, yes. like, plus ten Huge in all the bonuses. stats. Yeah. There's a reason that's okay for her. Mm -hmm. It's not okay when you are a mage showing up in a desert. You're a shaman. Yeah, shaman, Even excuse worse. me. God. Shaman who I can't really, wield her I own I really tone. want to like Sophia, but I just can't. I like her character, but yeah, she sucks. If her what, groats were be better, better, even. Because well, at least she's, th then you could arena her. She's pretty much... How best do I describe it? Remember Bartry in 7? Mm -hmm. She's pretty much him. She's got a good strength growth. Her speed growth is marginal. But she starts with low speed. And she just... She can't catch up. And the worst part is that she has a replacement that showed up a couple chapters before her who's better than her in almost every regard. Yeah. Night Crest, Night Crest. You know who that's going to. We have options, actually. For the Night Crest? Oh, wait, that's only Knights and Horsemen, right? Cavaliers. Yeah. So that has one option. <laughs> well. Well, to be fair, if you wanted to level up Barth once, he could use it and become a general. Please don't do that. Yeah, I'm good. Anyway. Next video. Retribution. Ah. For what, though?